Hey, how's it guys? So from the previous video, which I have the link in the description below, I cover how to manage YouTube playlists using Python. But one thing I didn't cover was how to add videos to a playlist. So in this tutorial, I'll cover two examples on how to add a video to a YouTube playlist and how to add videos from a playlist that are owned by someone else. Now let's start with example one. And before I dive into the tutorial, Here's the video in which I cover how to manage a YouTube playlist or YouTube playlists, which I'll link the link in the description below so you can uh, check it out. Now I'm going to uh, use my secondary account. All right, so in this account, let me uh, zoom out a little bit more. I think the font is too small. So from this account, I only have a single playlist. And I want to create a brand new playlist to uh, add videos to my collection. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import the uh, YouTube class. And you can find all the source code from the link in the description below. All right, so I'm going to import the uh, YouTube class. Then I'll create an instance of the uh, YouTube object. So here we need to provide the uh, client secret file. Then I'll provide the client secret file to the uh, YouTube class, and which is a required parameter. And I'll name the object as YT, uh, stands for YouTube. Then I'll initialize the service. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and run this code block. And it's going to uh, ask me to authenticate my account. All right, so choose your account. And on this page, click on events. Then click on this link to proceed. And here we need to grant permission to, uh, to the project. Now make sure that you grant permission to both uh, permission sets. Then click on continue. Now, once you see this message, the authentication flow has complete. You may close this window. And I'm going to close the tab. Right, so at this point, we have successfully connected to uh, YouTube API service. Now, in my terminal, if I type YouTube.YT.Service, uh, I'll be able to uh, reference to the uh, YouTube resource object. Now, let's dive into step one which is to create a new playlist. All right, so here we can uh, reference the YT object that create playlist. And we can provide the uh, playlist title, playlist description, and the uh, privacy setting. And once we create the uh, playlist, I want to create a variable to store the uh, playlist ID. And I also want to create a variable to uh, store the playlist title. Now let me go ahead and uh, create the playlist. So I'm going to uh, do everything step by step so you can see the uh, progress. All right, now if I go back to uh, YouTube and refresh the page. And here's the uh, playlist that I just created. Now I'm going to click into this playlist. Now on the top, uh, we have this uh, playlist ID here. And just in case, if you don't know uh, where your playlist ID is, it's going to be you know, right in the URL. Now as for the videos that I want to uh, add to this playlist, I want to add these two videos. The first video is going to be this uh, how to download and install Microsoft SQL Server 2022 video. And the second video is going to be this uh, how to manage your YouTube playlist uh, using Python. And here I create a list called video IDs. And inside this uh, video IDs list, I'm providing the video IDs that I want to add to my playlist. And to add these two videos to my this uh, JJ YouTube videos collection playlist, I'm going to insert a loop. Now, if we look at this code block, so inside this loop, I'm iterating each video ID from this uh, video ID's uh, list. Then I'll create my uh, JSON request body representation. From the request body, we need to provide the uh, snippet's uh, property. So on the snippet, we need to provide the playlist ID. And to specify which video we want to add to this playlist, we need to provide a property called resource ID. Inside this uh, resource ID property, we need to provide the uh, API resource type 
In this case, it's going to be YouTube Pound Video. So this is going to be the uh, resource type uh, ID string. Then he will going to uh, supply the video ID. And also we have the uh, request body JSON representation created. We can now make the API call. And to add a video to a playlist. So here we're going to reference the uh, YouTube service option. And we'll use the playlist items resource dot insert. And inside this uh, insert method, we need to uh, specify what property we want to use. In this case, uh, from the request body, we are only supplying the uh, snapper property. Then we need to provide the uh, JSON body that execute. And once I add a video to my playlist, uh, this response object is going to return the uh, video's uh, information or metadata. And here I want to grab the video's title. Then I want to uh, print message. Tells me uh, which video got added to uh, which playlist. Right, so here me uh, terminate this session. And since I authenticated my account just now, and it's going to create a token files folder. Inside this folder, I have this uh, picker file that stored the uh, session. And next time when I create my uh, YouTube object instance, and it's going to use this uh, session file or pick file to automatically authenticate the account. And if you want to use a different account, simply uh, delete this folder and re-authenticate your account. All right, so I'm going to go back to VS Code and press F5 to run the script. Okay, so here we have these two uh, lines of messages. Video followed by the video title and followed by the uh, playlist title. Now if I go back to my playlist and refresh the page, Right, so where's my video? Let me take a look. Okay, so because I uh, found this uh, script, my first step is to create a brand new playlist. So therefore, even though I already have this uh, playlist created, uh, it's going to recreate a duplicate playlist and add those two videos. All right, so here we have the uh, these two videos that got added to my playlist. Now let me grab this uh, playlist ID, and I want to go to example two, which is to add the videos from a playlist to my own playlist. Now this example is going to be a bit more uh, challenging, and just because there are a couple additional steps that we need to take. All right, so first, let's do this. So I create a function to return a playlist's uh, videos items. And I named the function list playlist items. And from this function, we need to provide a service object. If you want to have multiple channels to uh, move around different videos, then we'll be able to provide different uh, service object that are linked to different channels. Then we can supply the uh, playlist ID that we want to return the videos function. Now, uh, let me go back to example one. And I want to grab these three lines. All right, so here we're going to uh, create the YouTube object. Now, as for the playlists that I'm going to uh, use, here, let's go into my browser. All right, so here's going to be uh, playlist number one, which is a list of videos showing you how to prepare for uh, SQL interviews. Now, the second playlist is going to be this uh, Power BI and Python playlist. In this playlist, I have three videos that I want to add to my existing playlist, which is going to be this one here. Now, I'm going to copy the playlist ID. And I want to create a variable called target playlist ID. And I'll paste the playlist ID. Now, to add those videos from these two playlists, to my target playlist. So here I'm going to insert another loop. All right, so we have double loops. So the first loop is going to iterate uh, the playlist ID from source playlist ID's list. Then I'm going to uh, run the list playlist items function and I'll provide 
the service object that are linked to my channel, followed by the playlist ID that I want to add the videos to. And here, let's do this. I'm going to put a break right here. And that runs loop. Oh, and I forgot. Here. Here, let me uh, run this code block first to create my YouTube object. And I'll create my uh, lists. Right now, if I run this loop, if I print playlist items, and it's going to return a list. If we print the first item, now from this playlist item object, we have playlist items ID. And this one is uh, not relevant to our exercise, but what's important is this uh, video ID here. All right, so uh, yeah, let me delete the uh, break statement. And once we have all the uh, video IDs, we can uh, iterate each item. In this case, it's going to be a playlist item, and you can see this as a video item. Then we want to retrieve the video ID, and I'll create a variable to store the uh, video ID. Then we need to create our JSON request body, and everything else is going to be the same. So we'll call the uh, service dot playlist items dot insert method, and we'll specify the part and provide the request body uh, JSON object. Right, so because uh, I don't have playlist IDs title uh, in this case, because I don't want to make another API call. So for the message, I'm going to uh, use playlist IDs instead. Right, so here let me refresh the page to make sure that my playlist only has two videos. Now if I run the script, Now I can see that all these videos got added to my playlist. All right, so if I go back to my playlist, refresh the uh, page. Now I can see that all the videos from those two playlists now added to my GJ YouTube videos collection playlist. And the last three videos is going to be just three uh, Power BI and Python videos. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And feel free to post your question or your feedback in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.